second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Just What's up, y'all? So I just got off of work today. Um, so usually on Mondays, I'm off work at my permanent office, but today I did do a temp assignment. And if you are new here, basically temping is going to another office, filling in when they need someone. So I do have this office that I normally go to when they need someone. They always call me, ask me, am I available? And then if I am, then I'll just go grab a quick little coin. Um, and the best thing about temping, honestly, for me is that immediate money. So you go in, you work, whatever hours they want you to work, and then they cut you a check right then and there, and they send you on your way. I honestly recommend temping for anyone who does not want to confine to one office and you don't mind traveling. Um, the office that I temp at is about 25 minutes from my house, so it's not too far of a drive for me. Um... You set whatever rate that you want to be paid and they pay you. So I'm not signed with a temp agency. I am an independent temper. So basically, the reason how I got into this office is because I was with a temp agency and they sent me to this office. And when I got there, I found out that they didn't need anyone. The temp agency basically failed to notify me that the office didn't need a hygienist anymore so pretty much i wasted my time by going to the office so basically when that happened i just gave the office manager my number personally and i told her to contact me directly if she needs you know a temp for the day which i feel like most offices would probably prefer that anyway because when you go through a temp agency the temp agency charges that office a fee on top of what they have to pay you as well so it was a win-win for both of us. So anytime that office needs a hygiene temp, she'll contact me, ask me, do they, you know, am I available? And I just go. So to all of those hygienists, future hygienists who have questions about temping or wondering, is it worth it? Yes, it is absolutely worth it. Um, like I said, especially if you don't mind traveling, the further you travel, the more usually that an office will pay you. Um... And the great thing about temping is usually you can get double the pay than what you would working in a full-time office. So, what are the odds? So, yeah, definitely pick up those temp assignments because it is definitely worth it. And you can kind of see how different offices run. You're not confined to that office, so you don't have to go back if you don't like it. And that's the beauty of it. So, today is Wednesday, and right now I'm out and about trying to find my dad a gift for Father's Day. Um, Father's Day is on Sunday. And I feel like it's just so hard to find him stuff sometimes. Like, my dad has every name brand cologne I can think of. He has so many clothes that he still ain't worn. Shoes he still ain't worn. So, I'm really not trying to get him anything like that. Because he still got all this other stuff he still has not used yet. Um, even though I know whatever I get him, he would appreciate it. But I'm just trying to you know, actually get him something that he could utilize and that he might need. So I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. I might just make him like a basket. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make him a basket actually. I think I'm gonna put like some of his favorite snacks, his favorite beer, a couple of things in a basket, like a Easter, a Father's Day basket, like a Easter basket, but for Father's Day. Um, at least I know he'll use everything that'll be in the basket. So, um, and yeah, on that note, y'all, happy Father's Day to all of the active fathers out there. You know, um, coming from a woman who has always had her dad in her life, um, my parents, I always grew up in a two-parent household. So, you know, I don't know what it's like to not have an active father in my life. And I feel like sometimes, you know, people focus so much on like deadbeat dads um, that they don't really take the time to appreciate dads that are actually in their kids' lives. Um, so that does mean a lot. Great dads, y'all are definitely appreciated and needed. Um, you know, and just because your parents aren't together or anything like that does not mean that your father cannot be in your life. So I know some men, you know, don't 
continue to be in their kids' lives because the woman doesn't want to be with them. But, you know, like I said, just growing up with a dad, and I've always had my dad in my life, I know how important it is. So yeah, happy Father's Day to all of the active fathers. If you a deadbeat daddy, this is not for you, okay? If you don't take care of your kids, you don't see your kids, or try to see your kids, um, this is not for you, okay? But yeah, happy Father's Day to all the active daddies out there. So this is the basket that I found at Walmart and I thought it was perfect to put my dad's Father's Day gift inside. So inside the basket, I just started by putting his favorite beer and then I surrounded it by some of the things that I know he likes to eat and snack on um, to put around the beer. And then I also found these cozy slippers that I thought would be a good um, thing to add into the basket as well. Then I'm gonna just put the whole basket inside of this like jumbo basket wrap that I found on Amazon. So it's gonna be like a big, you know, Happy Father's Day Easter basket type of thing. And I'm gonna finish it off with some ribbon and that is my Father's Day gift to my dad.
sweat real good. So of course for my morning routine, I always put coconut oil on my face because I just don't use regular lotion on my face. So we're gonna get that coconut oil going. And then of course I put it around my midsection before I work at all with my waist trainer. So um Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So y'all, let me tell y'all, I was using this secret aluminum free deodorant, but when I scanned her on Yuka, it said that it was bad, which it's not supposed to be bad because it's aluminum free. So I'm like, I've been deceived this whole time. And if you don't know what the Yuka app is, basically it's an app that you can scan different food and cosmetic products and it'll tell you like if there's any harmful chemicals, or anything like that and what the chemicals may cause like cancer and different things like that so a while ago I was just reading up on aluminum and deodorant and how it can cause breast cancer and all types of other issues so I wanted to go aluminum free and I know that most people say like when you use a natural deodorant you have to go through like a stinky phase and I did not want that like I've heard of people using the Toms the native brand and they be stinking so when I tried this one I liked it because I didn't stink, like my underarms didn't smell bad. And it does have um, cornstarch in it. So I was like, well, maybe the cornstarch is what's helping me, you know, to where you don't stink or whatever. But you could say this was bad. So I went and got this one here, um, the Necessaire Liquid Gel Deodorant. And this came from Sephora. And actually Taja put me on this. Y'all, this deodorant was $15. So I'm like, baby, for $15, this deodorant better be working. So I try, I finally tried it last night and I woke up, didn't smell anything. So I'm going to test it out and see how it works when I go to the gym. So the gym is going to be the tell all because, baby, if I ain't stinking after I leave the gym, after using this, then I know what's to go for. Um, so we shall see. Um... And yeah, that came from Sephora, like I said. The Secret Aluminum Free Deodorant, I got this one from Walmart. You can usually find it anywhere. Um, but yeah, good old Yuka said that she was not good. So y'all, if y'all don't have the Yuka app, definitely download it because you will be surprised at some different things that you think are healthy that are not. And I was definitely shocked. So I'm about to go ahead and make my little protein shake before I go to the gym which is this one here. I need to get me some more. Um, it's the Fit Wheat Protein, and I found this at Walmart. They also have a vanilla flavor, but they only had chocolate when I went, so I'm just gonna drink this one. And the chocolate one is not bad. It low-key tastes like, um, like a chocolate milkshake, so this is really good to give you some energy for your workout. Uh, take a scoop of the powder, and it also came with this cute cup as well. You put your powder in the cup. You add you some water. It says about eight ounces of water. And then you put your top on there. And you just shake that baby on up. Yeah, like I said, this is really good. It tastes like chocolate milk. It gives you energy. And if you're trying to gain that booty in the gym, you need you some protein, baby. And then also for like the past two mornings, I've been, um, drinking this stuff here it's called green and superfoods and this is the coconut flavor basically this is supposed to help aid in digestion bloating and immunity so i actually saw this girl on tiktok was using it and she was talking about how she was always bloated but after using this for a while she noticed that the bloating had decreased significantly so i've tried it and this is actually really good it's not too coconutty it kind of puts you in the mind of like a matcha so in the morning times, um, the past two mornings before I was going to work, I would put some of this um, in my little cup. You mix it with about eight to 16 ounces of water, shake it on up and drink it. So y'all should go try it. I got mine on Amazon, but um, I think they actually have a website too that you can buy it on. I was good on my own, that's the way it was. Chip up. 
talk that shit, I was kicking to you Had some fun on the run, though, I'll give it to you But baby, don't get it twisted You was just another nigga on the hill list Trying to fix it in the issues with a bad bitch Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? Fuck your white horse and a carriage But you never could imagine Never told you you could have it You great great workout in the gym and y'all the deodorant worked okay because i sweated 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 and i'm not musty so the necessary deodorant from sephora definitely is a go you have seen it here um and i'm i'm very shocked because for that to be like a gel deodorant i figured that it would have me you know having my underarms super wet and sticky but it's nothing like that so the 15 dollars was worth it so definitely go get y'all some of that now i am about to get me some food i'm actually at this african spot called point one african cuisine in fayetteville never tried it before but i've seen some really good reviews and for the longest i've been wanting to try this fufu and a goosey soup so we're gonna try it out i hope it's good because your girl is hungry so let's go get this food got my fufu this is what the fufu looks like it's kind of like squishy and it came wrapped up like that and then for my agusi soup i got chicken i wanted to play it safe because i could have cho uh, chosen from um chicken beef goat or fish but i wanted to play it safe because i don't know how it's gonna taste it looks good that's what it looks like. Super excited to try it. So if y'all don't know what fufu is, basically fufu is an African dish. And the way I found out about it was a while ago on TikTok, it went viral. Like everybody was trying it, trying it, but I just never tried it. So today I was like, let me go ahead and try me some fufu. So let's go ahead and try it and see what it's given. And you're actually supposed to eat this with your hands. Um, so we gonna try it and we gonna see. Let's go ahead and try it out. I look. I want to try everything separately first because I want to get like all elements of it. So I'm gonna try the agusi first by itself. It smells like collard greens a little bit, but. Okay. I could taste some spice in there. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna try the chicken by itself. Mm-hmm. Chicken pretty good, okay. Now I'm going to try the fufu by itself. It's really doughy, but not bad. It low-key tastes like mashed potatoes a little bit. Okay, so now we got to try like everything together. So you take some of the fufu like that, and then you're supposed to eat it with your fingers, so... Okay, it is really good. 
this is actually really good. It tastes better than what I thought it would. It is spicy, so if you don't like spicy, then you won't like this. And if you're like a texture person, I don't know how you would feel about the fufu, but this is really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is hitting. But y'all, on another note, so I have officially applied for my local anesthesia course super excited for that if you didn't know so basically as far as dental hygiene each state has different laws for dental hygienists as far as how they practice and North Carolina was one of the states that did not allow hygienists to do local anesthesia the doctor was the ones who had to do it but late last year they recently passed the law that hygienists can now do local anesthesia so I went ahead and signed up for my course and I actually take the course July 15th so I'm super excited for that because I'm ready to do local. Um, they did send some book work that I have to do first. So I have to complete that. And then the actual course, we have to do 12 um, infiltration injections and 12 block injections. And we have to be the test dummy. The only part I'm not looking forward to is being, you know, injected 24 times. But I will have my local certification. So baby, the price is going up. And I'm so excited about it. So I'm getting ready to go out for a night on the town with one of my friends. Um, and I'm about to do my makeup. So today I'm actually going to be trying out this thing here. It's supposed to give you perfect eyebrows within seconds. Um, it is by iMethic Beauty. And I have seen this on TikTok and on Instagram. So we're going to try it out and see if you actually get perfect eyebrows in seconds because as you know you know the eyebrows are what makes the face so i'm gonna see if it's a give or it's a gone so basically when you open up you get this cute little pouch here that has all of your materials in it that you need and this is the eyebrow powder that comes with it and then it also has this little direction thing here so first I have to choose what stencil I want and these are the different stencils it comes with a couple of stencils so let's see which one I want oh wow you actually get a lot of options with this okay what do I want? Okay, so I think I'm gonna try this one because I love me a good deep arched eyebrow. So basically for the stencil, you just kind of take the little eyebrow part out and then it has like an adhesive that I'll put on. Let's see, let's line it up. Okay. So basically, well, actually, it's not really sticky enough to like actually stick on your skin, but I guess I put it on there and then I just am supposed to dab the powder on there. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to just brush my eyebrows a little bit and just so y'all can get a better look at the actual powder that comes with it. And this is super pigmented which i love so okay so i'm gonna put my stencil on there like that and then i'm just gonna dip it in the powder and then i guess just kind of dab it on there I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. Okay. 
Y'all see that? Okay, I think I pretty much got it on there. And then Okay. So it is definitely giving very decent. Um This is not half bad. This is definitely not half bad. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to brush this up a little bit baby that is a eyebrow that is a whole eyebrow that looks really good okay that's what i'm talking about okay let's try the other one And the thing I like about this too, like with the stencil, you can be as messy as you as you need to be. If you like fill that bad boy in because you have the stencil, so it's like you can't mess up. All right. Y'all. Okay. So this one too. It's a little boxy, so I'm just gonna like blend it out at the t at the front here. Okay, okay, that definitely gave what it was supposed to give. I literally just did my eyebrows in like a matter of minutes. So basically the only thing you really have to do is just clean them up with like your concealer or whatever you want to do. So if you don't want them like super boxy in the front, you just take your spoolie and literally just like brush it out. That is definitely a look. I am pleasantly shocked. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll show y'all what my makeup looks like after I'm done. So this is the finished look and it came out really, really cute. I literally did my eyebrows within seconds. So definitely get on that Eye Method Beauty eyebrow stencil because as you can see, perfect brows in seconds. So today is Sunday and it is Juneteenth and Father's Day. As you can see, I got my Juneteenth Black Queen shirt on, um, which Juneteenth is long overdue, honey. Okay, but I'm about to go to my parents' house. They are grilling out today and I'm going to give my dad his Father's Day basket. Happy Father's Day to all of the dads. Y'all are greatly appreciated. And yeah, y'all. So I'm about to go eat real good because your girl is hungry. And today is my cheat day. So I'm about to throw down. Okay? That is the video for the week, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. And I'll see y'all next time for the next video.